intense battle in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. Here are the starters for Utah. Inside, James can really carve the defense apart. His strength makes him such a tough cover. Pass to Bird. Fires for three. That one doesn't drop. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Here's Johnson. Jordan with it. Here's Chamberlain. And he banks in the layup. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Here's West. Pass to Stockton. Low block shot. Deflected! We played just over a minute here in the first. Here's Chamberlain. Sinks the 15-footer. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. And we're expecting an intense battle in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. Here are the starters for Utah. Inside, James can really carve the defense apart. His strength makes him such a tough cover. Pass to Bird. Fires for three. That one doesn't drop. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Here's Johnson. Jordan with it. Here's Chamberlain. And he banks in the layup. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Here's West. Pass to Stockton. Low block shot. Deflected! We played just over a minute here in the first. Here's Chamberlain. Sinks the 15-footer. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. And early on, if you're him, you just want to see the ball go through the net and get into some kind of rhythm. Here's West. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. They set the pick. Here's West. Chamberlain pulls it in. I understand why he pulled up for the leaner right there. But the defense adjusted to that very well. Here's Duncan. Count it. One for one to start the game. They're really settling into a nice rhythm now. Starting to gain the upper hand. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Will it go? Atlanta with a rebound. An eight-point differential. Pass to Jordan. Let's the three fly. He buries it from three. This game's taken on a whole new look thanks to this run. I totally agree. They just can't be stopped. They're just firing on all cylinders. Now a timeout called by Utah.
First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. And one word that always goes along with the Jazz, defense. They've been a top 10 defense in the league in six of the last seven seasons. West, off the mark and the drought continues. There was a mix up defensively, left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Back to Jordan. Wing shot on the way. And it's Atlanta scoring again. And with a defense like Utah's had, it's easy to see why they've been a playoff regular. Well, it's always a good idea to put a priority on getting stops. Now, it'll be interesting because they traded away their anchor on defense, Rudy Gobert. Can they live up to the standard they've set the last few seasons? Let's see if it can happen. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know, at this point, I think we can call LeBron James timeless. The seasons change, but his game stays strong. He's a rare talent. And he knocks down the first one. He does not get the second one. The Jazz have gone 0 for 6 from the floor. Shaky start. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And another miss by Utah. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Right now on a 14-0 run. Utah back. Larry Bird. His first. Team seconds. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Outside Johnson. Fades and shoots. And there's Jordan on the assist by Johnson. Jordan's got seven points. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. And Utah calls time here. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Here's Bird, covered by Jordan. Tries to snap the cold streak. The Hawks have gone a perfect seven for seven. Double team on James. Let's it go from deep. Jordan with the bucket. Ten points for him. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. The Jazz with another miss. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. Outside Johnson to the left side wing. High arcing shot. Jordan misses. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Left side, Johnson. Stripped it away. And now the Jazz on the run in transition. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Hawks. For me, it's all about the paint. 
I like how they've utilized the post, looking to dump it down and capitalize when they see Shoot opportunities. Two. It's paying off. They've also been quick to set up their teammates, wasting no time making the extra pass for the open look. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Huge run right now for him, going 19 to 2. Here's James. Boy, oh, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. James has got five points. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. Outside Johnson. Pass to Jordan. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. 12 points for him. And he's been an ideal teammate tonight. He's really creating plenty of looks with his passing. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. From deep. And it's Bird missing. Atlanta's gone two of two at the perimeter. The floater. Offensive rebound. Second chance shot. Blocked! They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. From deep three-point range, Chamberlain pulls it in. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Now here's Johnson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Jordan with the bucket. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Jordan's gone six of eight from the field. Pass to Nowitzki. Shot from the top of the key. Atlanta with the rebound. Now here's Johnson. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Here's West. Over Johnson. Off the left rim and out. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. It's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. The Jazz making a switch here. And substitution. Nikola Jokic. John Havlicek. Bob Cousy. Here's Havlicek. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. <laughs> the unique passing skills of Jokic, just fantastic at realizing when one of his guys has a clean look at the basket. Now here's Jordan. He's got 16. And in 2022, more history made by Nikola Jokic, becoming the first player to amass 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. The Jazz making a switch here. Steve Atlanta's gone two for three from outside the arc. There's a screen. Here's Jordan. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. And Nikola Jokic breaking barriers at the center position, Grant. Oh, so true, B.A. That 2000-1500 season, it never been done before. The Joker's ability to be a facilitator at the five, almost a point center. We've never really seen that before. His first team start. Shooting for Utah. Dodd Stockton. Two shots. Shooting two. Good 
First one falls for him. Wade, he's checked in for Atlanta. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. And no matter his age, Wade would always be able to go up and throw it down. That's to Bird. From deep. Atlanta with a rebound. Johnson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Wade. Jordan with it. 18 points for him. Here's Chamberlain. Again, Atlanta. In terms of offense, they've been the more efficient team by far. They've had better patience, better shot selection so far, but we still have a long way to go. To the paint. The Hawks making a switch here. Here's Nash, covered by Johnson. Pass to Nash from downtown. Abdul Jabbar with a rebound. Atlanta has gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Chamberlain. Here's Wade. Perfect night so far. Two for two. If you let Wade get the ball that deep, there really isn't anything you can do. Here's Stockton. That's to Bird. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Takes it inside. Here's Wade. Rebounded by the Jazz. Here's Nash. 136 left in the first quarter. Pass to Bird. A shot to stop the drought. Knocks down the triple. He's got five. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Outside Johnson. And here's Jordan. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Clock at four. And he's going for the oop here. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Shoots from 14. And the Jazz tack on two more. you got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. Now here's Jordan. He's covered closely. That shot, no good. Pass to Nash. Thirty-two seconds left in the first quarter. No luck on that one. And it'll be the Hawks taking it the other way. Now here's Jordan. Defense is right there. With the floater, Chamberlain gets the bucket. That's nice work stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Here's Nash. Covered by Johnson. Here's Bird. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. From deep, Johnson. Good! Without a second to spare. Oh, you got to have some real nerves to hit that shot. Coaches always talk about closing quarters strong. Can't do it much better than that. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks firmly in control with an impressive 28-point lead as the quarter ends. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this.
just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. Boy, a very convincing performance so far from the Hawks. Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Especially at the start. You want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. Well, teams are always hunting mismatches. Grant, I'll put it to you here. You prefer a speed advantage or a size advantage over your defender? Well, B.A., it's all about the mismatches. And going back to when I was young and actually had some speed, it, it, it was great to be able to have both depending upon who you went against. If a smaller player guarded you, use your size to shoot right over them. And if the bigger defender was on you, then yes, use your speed to turn the corner and get to the rim. So it depended upon who was guarding you. And for Utah. Pass to Stockton. Stolen! Now here's Johnson. Out to the right wing. Now here's Jordan. Not a lot of room. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Soft touch off the glass. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Covered by Johnson. To the middle. It's picked off. James, outside. Pass to Stockton. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. His first team first. At the line for the Jazz, Bob Cucci. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw misses. All right, the Jazz making a change here. And the second free throw is good. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Now James. Seven points in the game. Here's Duncan. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. The passing of LeBron is so special. So talented at finding his wide open teammates. Launches a three. And the basket by West. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Pass to James. From deep three-point range. The rebound by Nowitzki. Utah has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, Luka Doncic, an all-star from his second season, and every year he's one of the favorites for MVP. But Luka says, quote, I still haven't won anything, so I've got a long way to go. Brian, if you didn't catch it, team success is the metric. He says the key is to win a championship. Well, he certainly gives him a chance to do just that, Ali. Thank you. Here's Jokic following the score by Atlanta. And it's Nowitzki missing. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Outside Irving. Pass to Duncan. Here's James. Outside for Irving. The three is up. Sends it home from three-point land. Irving's got five now. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. From ten feet away. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Atlanta's gone four of six from three-point range thus far. And there's James from the arc. The rebound by the Jazz. Pass to Havlicek. Three-pointer. The rebound by Duncan. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Now James fires the three. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. I love when LeBron goes up with no hesitation, looking assertive off the catch. 
And here's Jokic to stop the run. And that one's long. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. And there's James from the arc. Another three for Atlanta. I don't think the defense had any idea what they were doing there. Clear miscommunication leading to an easy basket for the offense. Here's Jokic. That shot is off. And Atlanta will come the other way. Pass to Iverson. Back to James. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. Here's Iverson. Well, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. He shoots it. Nice shot from the wing. Here's Atlanta with the ball. They're on a 17-6 run. Pass to O'Neal. Here's James. Inside. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. Great player movement, great ball movement. That's fun to watch. Now Jokic. Here's Havlicek. Jokic with a screen on Irving. Havlicek. What a terrific move that is. The Hawks have gone 8 of 11 in the second quarter. It's James on the wing. Here's Duncan. Goes back up. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Doncic has checked in for Utah. At the line for Atlanta, Tim Duncan. Shooting one. Utah, they've gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Here's West. Oh, they get a hand on it. Outside for Irving. The baseline, Jay. The shot's good on the assist by James. Irving's got seven points in the game. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Pass to Nowitzki. Nails it. And he's one for five with that one. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. Doncic against James. Jokic with it. Here's Nowitzki. And here's Doncic. Pass to Havlicek. Five to shoot. There's the triple. And Doncic with the three. Doncic has gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. James against Doncic. Here's O'Neal. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Using that change of pace off the dribble, Doncic gets the shots he wants. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league, and that shows up most with his passing and body control. Here's O'Neal. Pass to Iverson. They get it again. Duncan, no good. Utah has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Here's West. 
Doncic on the wing. With the teardrop. And he takes it up and lays it in. Doncic has got eight points in the quarter. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Grant. Uh, no question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. And Utah has possession. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. And the basket by West. With elite passing skills and court vision, Doncic is an advanced distributor for his age. Pass to James. Screen by O'Neal. James with the ball. Now Doncic defending. Here's O'Neal. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That one on Doncic. At the line for your Hawks. Shaquille O'Neal. At the line for two. No good on that one. A big group substitution here for Utah. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Utah has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Oh, got that one up quick. Doncic has got 11. Because opponents have to respect his passing so much, a lot of times the three-pointer is there for Doncic if he wants it. Got a hand on it. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Doncic has got 13 points in this quarter. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Johnson, there's the block. Now here's Doncic. 13 points in the game. Pass to Bird. Jacks up a three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Here's O'Neal. Left block shot on the way. And he can't sink that one. He's two for four in the contest. Here's Nash. Rebounded by the Hawks. Here's O'Neal. Outside Johnson. One fifty-seven left in the second period. Here's O'Neal. Banked it in off the glass. He's got six. And once you get the height advantage from there, no need to mess around. Pass to Doncic. To the inside. Inside. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Team seconds. At the line for the Jazz. Dolph Shane. Two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. There's a minute 34 left in the first half. Outside Johnson. Here's Jordan. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Jordan's got 20 points. 
He means business. Unlikely to be a comeback on his watch. Reason why momentum can flip so quickly. We see it time and time again. Teams giving up big leads. Here's Bird. The Jazz with another miss. Atlanta's gone six of nine from three-point range. Pass to Abdul-Jabbar. Johnson with it. The jump hook. It's hauled in by Nash. The Jazz shooting about 58% so far in the second. Wide open. Yes, it's good. He has six. Atlanta's got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. And slam dunk by Jordan. Willing passes, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. For three. Rebound Atlanta. Johnson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Down low. Here's Jordan with one on the clock. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. The Hawks on top. Running away with it. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Here's West. A moment here for an injury report. Guys, I was able to talk with Utah's head athletic trainer about his status and his analysis and aggravation of that nagging shoulder tendonitis. Extremely painful. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Always on top of it. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. Even with the advancements in strength training, injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. And for the Jazz. Here's West, covered by Johnson. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. At the line for the Jazz, Jerry West taking two shots. First one falls. <laughs> and 
And so he hits both. Atlanta's gone six of nine from three-point range. Here's Johnson. Pass to Jordan. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Team first. At the line for your Hawks. Michael George taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. And both free throws good for Jordan. Here's Stockton. Pass to Bird. The three ball. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got rebound number eight now. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Johnson's got five. Utah has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Hawks down. That's it, Johnson. Third person. Team second. At the line for the best. Jerry West. Two shots. And he makes a first. Good on both. Atlanta's gone six of nine from three-point range. It's Johnson with a drive. And it's James with the jam. I mean, plenty of lift in those legs. LeBron never did the dunk contest. He just does it in a game. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. The Hawks have gone three of three in the second half. Right side, Johnson. Over to the wing. Here's Duncan. He has seven. And the shot's good. Nine points in the game. He needs to be more proactive on offense and shoot it more. He's making most of his shots, so he's got to demand the ball more. Pass to Nowitzki from deep. Drains the triple. He's an asset in helping space the floor. He has tremendous touch from range. Now Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. He can do incredible things. He can also help you win by simply being reliable. Here's West. From the arc. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Now here's Jordan. And he's got 28 now. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. At the line for Atlanta, Michael George, two shots. Two 
shooting two. Free throws good. Jordan. Both good from the line that time. Utah has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Cross is over. And the Jazz tack on two more. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And he just powered through contact trying to complete the play. Michael George at the line for two. Shooting two. Free throws good. Jordan. And both free throws good for Jordan. For Utah, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Here's Nowitzki. Another shot. The rebound by the Hawks. Outside Johnson. Here's Jordan. There's the three. The shot by Johnson, no good. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Pass to West. The rebound by Duncan. Wow, he doesn't miss many of those. He's such a strong finisher and tight. Jordan misses. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Pass to Nowitzki. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. James with the ball. Now here's Jordan. Fires the three. Offensive board. Chamberlain. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Hawks. They've gotten great results playing through the low block, forcing the defense to deal with their size and footwork. Yeah, another thing you notice are all the assists. The ball just has energy, and everyone is getting involved. That free throw, no good. Good on the second one. Utah's gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Here's West. 13 points in the game. The Jazz with another miss. Here's Duncan. Pass to Jordan. For three, James. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. And for Utah, they're shooting just 36% in the third. Here's West. Hits a three-pointer. 16 points for him. Poor defense there. That's his bread and butter. You have to crowd him out on the perimeter. And slam dunk by Jordan. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Time called here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. You know what 
And the Hawks making a change here. O'Neal's checked in. Utah has got four of eight attempts to fall from deep here in the third quarter. Pass to Jokic. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Drafted 41st overall in the 2014 NBA draft, Jokic has turned a lot of heads. The versatility he has is unreal. And the first one at the line is good. And Jokic drops them both. Atlanta's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Pass to O'Neal. To the middle. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. Here's Stockton. To the paint. And it's Jokic missing. The Hawks have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Pass to James. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. James has gotten four this quarter. Here's Nowitzki. The three is up. James with the rebound. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Inside. That shot is good by O'Neal. O'Neal's got 10 points. I love it. Beautiful job getting to the rim, making a play. Here's Stockton. Check by James. Pass to West. Shoots. He's off on that one. So Atlanta will take it the other way. And here's James. They're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. The defender gets caught in a bad position. LeBron, powerful enough to convert through contact. Let's see what he does at the line. LeBron James. At the line for one. One shot. James, no good on the free throw. 
Utah has gone four of nine from beyond the arc since the break. Jokic with a screen on Johnson. Back to Jokic. Can they get it? That one drops for him. Jokic has got four points this quarter. Inside the paint, Jokic has that physicality that can make the defense a non-issue. He can just muscle his way for a shot. Here's O'Neal. He's got 10. Elbow shot on the way. The shot by James. No good. And for the Jazz, they're shooting just 37% in the game. Out left to the wing. Pass to Havlicek. Jokic with a screen on Jordan to the inside. Right wing. Here's Stockton. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got three assists now in this one. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. The shot by Johnson, no good. The Jazz shooting 39% from the field in the third. It's deflected. Pass to James. Back to Johnson. To the middle. Here's Duncan. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Doesn't have to break his momentum at all to catch the pass. Here's Havlicek. Takes the three. Nails it from three. He's got seven. He has to show real leadership out there and take this game into his own hands because he's shooting the ball well. Down low. And it's James with the jam. Always fun to watch James go off like this. He's getting everything he wants on the offensive end. And Utah has possession. Here's Havlicek. Seven points in the game. Over Jordan. Again, Utah. Atlanta's gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Here's O'Neal. Ten points for him. Here's James. Again, Atlanta. You gotta be more aware of LeBron from these in-between spots. He's money from there. Pass to Jokic. It's tipped. They retain possession. To the wing, right side. And again, it's Utah with a three. Spacing and ball movement. We hear coaches talk about those two elements all the time. Johnson passes to James. And slam dunk by James. Dunking is second nature to LeBron. All he needs is ideal positioning, and he's golden. Pass to Havlicek. Jokic with a screen on Jordan. Here's Havlicek. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. The floater can be a tricky shot, but that's the right choice. Outside Johnson. At the line for Atlanta, Magic Johnson taking two shots. Shooting two. That one misses. Wade, he's checked in for LeBron. Luka Doncic is checked in for Utah. And he's good on the second. And 101 left in the third. Four three. The rebound by the Hawks. Here's O'Neal. Ten points for him. Pass to Duncan. And here's Jordan. Here's the three. Doncic pulls down the board. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. 
Atlanta's got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Jordan with it. He's got 34. Six to shoot. The three. Gets the three ball to go. Jordan's got 37. Michael Jordan. And so it's Atlanta with a gigantic 33-point lead at the close of the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that position. That was a smart, smart play. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Here's Wade. Pass to Jordan. The fadeaway. Doesn't go for him. The Jazz shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. And for Utah, here's West. It's stolen away. Here's Iverson. Doncic grabs the miss. Here's West. Pass to Bird. Good work there as it goes. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Here's Jordan. And too long on the shot. Here's Doncic. It goes again. His sixth basket and seven tries. At about 230 pounds, Doncic is a low down low. Here's Iverson. They get the rebound. It's good on the putback. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. Pass to Nowitzki. From behind the arc. Atlanta with a rebound. O'Neal's got a rebound number five here tonight. Out to the right wing. From deep, Jordan. Atlanta gets it back. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Here's Bird. Here's West. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. Here's Jordan driving inside. And slam dunk by Jordan. I almost can't believe what I saw. Incredible. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. Pass to Bird. Takes a three. Gets the three to fall. Not just a knockdown shooter, he does a great job of finding space for his shot. To the inside. It's intercepted! We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Here's Nowitzki. This one for three. The rebound by the Hawks. O'Neal's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Jordan. And he drives in. Here's Wade. Again, Atlanta. Okay, D. Wade. He's played a physical brand of basketball his entire career. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Teams first. Shooting for Utah. Larry Bird. Two shots. Two. 
First free throw is good. Irving's checked in for Atlanta. James comes in for Wade. Second free throw, no good. The Hawks have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. The three, James, knocks down the long K. James has got 15 points here in the second half. It was already difficult enough to stop LeBron. Now he's got the consistency from range. Here's Nowitzki. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. That's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. The Hawks have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Pass to James. Inside, O'Neal. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Oh, what tremendous focus to absorb the contact and find a way there to finish. At the line for Atlanta, Shaquille O'Neal. One shot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Here's West. Pass to Nowitzki. Puts up a three. And the three-pointer goes. The Hawks have gone six for 11 here in the fourth quarter. To the middle. Here's O'Neal. And he slams it in one-handed. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Here's West. Pass to Stockton. Puts it up. And whether or not he makes the all-defensive team, LeBron is one of the league's premier defenders. He put a little flair on that one. Yes, he did. Man, he's a strong finisher, huh? Utah has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Here's Bird. He's guarded by Irving. Pass to Nowitzki. Fires the three. Rebounded by LeBron. James has got four rebounds now. And let's face it, they won't get back in the game with fouls like that. Team set. Here's Iverson. Nifty move. No luck on that one. Utah shooting 55% since the start of the fourth. Pass to West. Let's it go from deep. O'Neal pulls it in. O'Neal's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Now here is James. Three-pointer. And the Hawks with another three. That's the right strategy. Get the ball to LeBron. Let him go to work. Well, the Jazz shooting around 39%. They'd like to get that higher. Here's West. Pass to Bird. Looking to end the run. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Team starters. At the line for the Jazz. Larry Bird. Taking two shots. Two shots. Max on the first. And he knocks down the first one.
And good on the second, so he makes them both. Atlanta's gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Pass to O'Neal. For three, James. Second shot opportunity. And the layup is up and in. O'Neal's got 15 points here in the second half. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Here's West. Here's Bird. Well-placed jumper from the free throw line. He's got 22. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Johnson, he's checked in for the Hawks. Magic Johnson. Three, James, yet another assist. That's another dime from him. He's tallying them up fast, B.A. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. Great open look there. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Surefire, one-handed stuff. Yeah, with his focus, he's not going to miss that. Here's Bird. He's guarded by Irving. Here's West driving in. Second chance shot. The putback. It's good on the putback. Great anticipation off the missed shot. Oh, his timing was impeccable. Outside Johnson. Here's O'Neal. Another possession, another assist. Another possession, another assist. Man, is he sharing the ball well, hitting his guys right in their spots. Pass to Stockton. There's a screen. Let's go with a three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. Here's O'Neal. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Jokic is checked in. Shooting two. That one's off. And the Hawks making a change here. Jordan's checked in. So he comes up empty, missing both. Utah's gone four of nine from three-point range in the fourth. To the paint. Pass to West. Shoots over Johnson. And the Jazz tack on two more. Atlanta's gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. Now James. Here's O'Neal. Back to James. Screen by O'Neal. Six on the shot clock. The shot by James. No good. Well, the Jazz shooting 58% from the floor. Terrific here in the fourth. Teams fourth. At the line for the Jazz. Jerry West. At the line for two. Two 
First one falls for him. Good on both. Now Johnson. Pass to Jordan. And again, another assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. He's doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. Here's Stockton. Here's Bird. Basket's good. 27 points for him. Strong performance from him, but he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. James, outside. Up again, Atlanta. With the utmost belief in his game, he's able to beat opponents in a number of ways. And here's Jokic, outside. Doesn't go that time, so Atlanta will take it the other way. Pass to Jordan. Up and in from the low block. Jordan's got 45 points. Just how you draw it up. That's a look they'll take every time. Here's Bird. Oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. Atlanta has gone three of six from downtown so far on the fourth. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Hawks. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. Here's West. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. Pass to Bird. Here's Nowitzki. Checked by James. Nowitzki. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. 103 left in the fourth. James, outside from nine feet again Atlanta that's an inspired ball club they fought hard and during the most important moments they made big plays especially during this last run which ultimately put the game away here's West here's Bird drops in the three <laughs> one positive takeaway at least they're finally showing signs of life out there they put together some great possessions here at the end it's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. Now here's Jordan. Misses the jumper from the wing. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Here's West. Pass to Bird. Takes the three. Rebounded by the Hawks. And here's Johnson. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game as we present our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James.